Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, where we are talking with Dr. Hottie, who, you know, he's a, he seems like a fun guy. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. So, there's something I need to show him to get him to talk. Uh, I'm a lawyer. Hmm, what's this? I'm a lawyer. Right now, I'm investigating a murder. Oh, is this actually gonna work? Mm, yes, what's with that? What's with your angry face? Violence isn't the answer. Mm, yes. The trial is tomorrow, and I would really like some information from you. Mm, is that right? Well, you know, I think I can let you in on a little secret. What's that? Mm, yes, actually. I'm not the real director. I hadn't, I hadn't gathered that. Let me just take a minute to recover from the shock. Okay. Are you kidding? Anyone with half a fly's brain knew that. What do you, what, what do you mean? Do I have to explain this to him? Well, hold on. I'll give you something real information, okay? Actually, this clinic's... See, I'm like this place's walking dictionpedia. You mean walking encyclopedia? Yeah, yeah, that. My specialty is in young, silky smooth, haughty patients. Please, please stop making that face and doing whatever that is with your hands. There's nothing I don't know about them, but I get embarrassed talking about it. Y yeah, how about you keep that kind of information to yourself? No. Anyway, you wanted to know about Little Miss Eeny Meeny, right? Little Miss Eeny Meeny? That girl, ah, I remember her especially well. Really especially very well. I want this conversation to end. <laughs> oh, okay. What do we do? So what do you know about this? I see this and my mind's blank. Yes, it's boring. That's why boring. Yes, how do I put it? Good more, more attractive item. Oh. Attractive, huh? He seems very one note. More attractive items. So I'm assuming... Uh... Hmm... attractive items. I don't know. I don't know how to interpret that. Um. Hmm. Miss Edie is really acute in this picture. You'd agree, right? Uh, yeah, sure. I wish I could see her again. Maybe the next time she has a big accident. Mm, yes. I'll tell her for you. Mm, yes, please. Mm, I'll be waiting for her. Mm, yes, waiting. Wait. Accident? Well, I thought I asked about that. Did I not do that? Please tell me what you know about Miss Eeny Meeny. Mm, yes, I'll get to that. Trust me, I will. That girl, that's right. She was transferred here from the General Hospital. It was, mm, yes, a year ago. She was one of those emergency cases. What was she ill with? Ill? No, no, no. She was injured, not ill. With my trained eye, I could see, yep, I could see that was a huge wound at that. A huge injury? Her whole body was wrapped around and round and bandages and her arm was in a cast. It sounds pretty severe, all right. Oh, oh, this accident. This is what gets me the, through the, cy the psych lock. Mm, yes, it was an accident, an mm, accident. They're scary, yes, cars, mm, yes. Car, you mean it was a traffic accident? Yep, that's what gave her the terrible injuries. I swore it was in the papers. Mm. Yes, I looked it all up. I did. It was terrible. Mm, yes. Dare I even ask what it is? What is wrong with this old guy? Operation of the accident. Well, I mean, let's ask about both. Just now, you mentioned something about a big operation. No, mm, you're talking about Miss Eni's operation. Uh, yes, Miss Eni's. That, ah, uh, that was one heck of an accident. Mm, yes, her whole face was burned like a bad toast. It was bad, very bad. Was it really that bad? Mm, it was a good thing that Miss Eni had a picture of herself. Oh, here the picture was how they put her face back to- Holy crap! Picture? 
That girl, see, she had a... She had just gotten her license. So she just happened to have a license photo on her. Hmm, yes. Oh. See, I got her picture as a way to remember her. Yes, well, more like swiped. Um, breach of ethics? Oh, wait. <laughs> what, what, a pretty girl like her? I bet she has lots of pictures of herself. Um, sure. It's a treasure, my treasure. Precious. Oh. What happened to the actual license itself? Who knows, I didn't bother to ask. It probably got burned along with the car. Hmm, yes. Nice photo for her driver's license. Director Hottie's treasured possession. <laughs> oh god. He's, he's still making that face in the background. Stop it. <laughs> Stop doing that. Um, so you looked up information on Eni's accident, correct? Hmm, yep, yep, sure did. Hmm, yes, I read every paper that covered it at the time. What kind of accident was it, do you remember? Hmm, yes, hold on, I'll go get it for you, the article I mean. Uh, you have it? Well, 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 don't get me wrong, I thought something like this might come up, so... You thought this might come up? Obsessive to the max, but I bet I could learn about how to stay on a lead from this guy. Ah, uh, here we go, here we go, hmm, yes. According to this, Miss Eni was in the passenger seat. Passenger seat, huh? In dozing, or so it says. A strong jolt woke her up, and in the next minute, a sea of fire was all around her. Miss Eni fought with the door and finally got it open and somehow managed to get away. Anywho, you can read all the details in the article. Hmm, yes. Newspaper clipping updated. Aha! A new clue. I should probably look this over. It's been half a year since Miss Eni had her surgery and got better. She was discharged sometime in December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Hmm, yes, yeah, so how was... How was I? I was a real help, wasn't I? Hmm, yes. Uh, yes, the, thank you very much. Hmm, yes, well then, I'll be getting back to my room then. Tell Mazzini I said hi, okay? Hmm, yes. Time for me to leave, Sue. Hmm, yes. Ah, okay, it's definitely time to leave. Okay, hold on. So wait. Wait, 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 uh, May 2nd. Nope, that's not what I want. Well, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to, like, piece back together. May 2nd, 14, patients died. So, th this, in May. Two, women, two women's car crashed into a highway, highway center divide. One of the women was not able to escape the flaming wreckage and died on the site. Ongoing investigation has revealed that the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. Miss Eeny Meeny holds interview about crash. I was like totally tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep but I opened the right door and like got out. I don't remember. I don't like remember anything else. So she was in that crash. Okay. If Miss Eeny Meeny is to be believed, the one driving the car was her sister, Mimi Meeny. Mimi Meeny was the nurse at Gray's Surgical Clinic where 14 patients were accidentally overdosed to their death. Is this then just a mere coincidence? Wait. Okay, so, I don't know that I have everything I need. Because there were two locks, right? Oh, hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah, I found out a few things, I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Ah, uh, yeah, so earlier that old granny called the cops. What? Huh, the cops? Why would Morgan call the police? She said she had something to tell them. Things are getting, sure getting interesting. Uh, is that... What do you got? Ah, but honestly, I tell ya, that granny sure got her bloomers in a knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. It always starts it small, just... You know? Still in the master's seat and controlling the village folk. Wait, what? But now you see what it's turned into? A murder, that's what. Yeah, what a mess. But, hey, hold on. What? The stuff you were just talking about. That's the first I've heard of it. <laughs> really? Well, it's old news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with gossip while I'm busy saving people. He said something about stealing the master's seat. Yup. 
Right now, the master is the this medium named Misty Fay, but the one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was supposed to become the master? All right, hold on. Tell, but, but, we'll just go down the list. Do you know where Eni is, Lotta? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around the garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah, I've got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. Okay. So I hear the master has always been the eldest daughter. The eldest daughter? Yeah, we knew that. Turns out that the old bad is Missy Faye's older sister. Oh. They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Mia's powers lightly. Well, anyway, somehow Granny there lost to her younger sister, Misty. I see. She's made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Said all sorts of things, too, like she's the oldest and yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. Oh, boy. Oh. It's uh, The picture is starting to become clearer. Oh, I had no idea. So what would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been the Branch family, I reckon. Hmm. Do I have anything I want to present to you? How about this? Uh, yeah, okay. What about... This is probably dead end too. Okay, anyway. Moving on to the meditation room. Okay, let's go see Morgan first. Who's not here? I'm suspicious. Uh, well, anyway. Hey, like, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. I think I have enough to finally unlock her secret. Oh, I like does it. No, I didn't tell us before. With a uh, with a uh, pearl. But like, oh, what's so that scary look on your face? Hmm. Okay, so let's just let's just do it. Two locks. Do I have enough for both of them? Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, oh, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Um, yeah. So, like, that Dr. Gray guy made my sister fall asleep? And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Mm. Whose accident? Which means she must know something about another person's accident, which would be... A certain other person's accident. Another person's accident. Like, you got someone in mind. Would I present... Her? Um. Man. Well, wait, wait, wait. I have actually, I have some leeway, so I don't need to. I don't need to like really overthink this. There's a couple things I could present. I could present the newspaper clipping. That was my first instinct. Um. The other thought was her driver's license, which I think probably makes the least amount of, of sense. Uh, and then my third option would just be her herself. I was asking who's accident, but I think I have to prove that she was in an accident. I'm gonna try. Uh, you. I want to ask about your own car accident. M me. Yes. So wow, like how strange. I have like no idea what you're talking about. Can you like prove I was in like an accident? Uh, yeah. There we go. That one, that required, like, no thought. Would you take a look at this? Sometimes it's just hard to figure out, like, what order they're going to want things in. It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says, Miss Eeny Meeny holds interview about crash. 
Huh. You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? Like, wait. What now? That's that's not me. What? Huh? I mean, like, this person has this like same name, but she's totally not me. My name, Eeny Meeny, is like pretty common. Are you kidding me? What in the world are you babbling about? Your sister's name, Mimi Meeny, is in here too. <laughs> like, totally. Wow. What a scary coincidence. I'm totally like getting like goosebumps. I'm gonna let you get away with that. So, like, now what? Like, do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? Um. Let's see. What other stuff did we get? Well, I did get this from the hospital. This is your proof. <laughs> like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. <laughs> huh? So? There's a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. That creepy fake director? <sighs> Aha! Now, are you ready to tell me about the accident? <laughs> like, wait a sec. Okay, so like, I was in an accident, sure. <laughs> That's like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? Uh, and? That woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? Do you suppose the woman who died in that accident could be... Uh... Yeah, alright, we're moving along. Moving along. Okay. I believe it was your sister, Mimi Mimi. Mimi? You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making it one and the same. Oh. So that's it. Cool. I don't even need points back on that. Tell me about the accident. Yeah, I was riding... Riding in that car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. And then it happened. At the time, I grabbed for my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I, like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. This does give Amy a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. <laughs> Seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But it would be... Very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. What? I think you get the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> wow, what? Um. Uh. This is not good. I'd like to leave the room now. I'd like to leave the room further. I actually don't know where to go. <laughs> I just want it out of there. Um. Looks like something's up. Uh-oh. Stop, stop. Leave my mother alone. Ow. Hey, hold on. Okay, pal. I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear, it is perfectly all right. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please let me go too. No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... I don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look. It's a real pistol. Detective, do not upset me further. Ah, sorry. Uh, gumshoe. Poor Gumshoe, being dragged off by the ear like that. Being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan. Ow. 
Mother. Uh, Pearls, what's up? Mother, this has never happened before. Pearls? Mr. Nick, I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is going to happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Mr. Nick? Say something, Phoenix. Anything. Ugh, I'm terrible at this. Maya! Mr. Nick, what about... What about Mystic Maya? She'll be alright. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone either. I I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. Her stare is really piercing. <laughs> Um, uh, I'd really like to talk to Gumshoe. Can I go back inside here? About in here. Nothing. Okay. You know, I don't want to disappoint Pearls, so we'll go to the detention center. For some reason. Ah, uh, it's Mia. You kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now, I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Hmm. Memory serves. Mia had a few Cyclops of her own. Mia, I'm ready to unlock the last piece of information I need now. Sure, I welcome you to try. Why would you- you're- I get it, I get it. It's teaching us to stand on our own and think for ourselves and all that nonsense, but- Oh, she is playing with fire. Wait, is there anything I could talk to you about? Yeah, oh god, lots of things. That was, that was almost bad. Mia. Yes. Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean. Wait, I wanted to... No, hold. Stop. There's three! Why, do you think so? It's really trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah, a battle of wits against Mia. Come back to that. There's still a whole slew of questions for you to answer before the trial tomorrow. I mean, like, how did the real murderer get into the room and kill Dr. Gray? Yes. Also, when did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? You guys were all standing around in front of the room after the channeling started. Which means that the murderer must have gone into that room before the channeling. That's what I think in any case. Maya's already said there wasn't anyone else in there. That's true, but if we can't figure out the murderer's movements, we're stuck like a beached whale. Hmm. I never thought I'd see this day. Are you as actually asking me about spirit channeling? This case is all about spirit channeling, and I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Well, that's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power to change your physical appearance into the person you're calling was something our ancestor, Mystic Ami Fey, acquired. I've heard that name before. The Fey family was originally a family known for its service to the gods. When Mystic Ami was born, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because, you see, she was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism. Amitabha? I'm gonna... Sure. To this day, her soul is still sealed in the Korean sacred urn. About that. Usually sits in the winding way and has her name written on it. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on, Phoenix. It's just a fairy tale. Are you saying that me being able to see you is just a fairy tale, too? Alright. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, the murderer. Well, at least I have- Oh, that's why they give you back all your- like, health. I mean, I'm just gonna call it health from now on. Or probably points. Health or points, I don't know. It'll change. Um, but that's why I give it back, so that way... You know, you kinda, you kinda start it full. You think I'm hiding information about something from you, isn't that right? Yes. Alright, then tell me, who you think I'm protecting? Who is she protecting? 
Uh, oh, it's gonna be a person, so, uh, okay. Um... I see two- there are two people who kind of jump out at me. Pearl. Because I feel- I feel like Mia would want to protect Pearl. Um... I don't think it's Maya because we already know she's not guilty, so I don't- there- there wouldn't be any need to withhold this information to protect anyone. So, I feel like... Pearl or Morgan? That's why her age is question marked. I thought they were just being goofy. They did that because they- they knew... Someone- someone would catch the fact that she was older than Misty, because I'm pretty sure we knew Misty's age from the last game. Clever, clever. Uh, I'm gonna go with Morgan, because that makes slightly more sense than... Uh, Pearl, who already had an alibi. Morgan Fay, of course. There's no one else you'd protect like this, Mia. Well done, but... While the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Which means she already has an alibi. Oh, I didn't think about that. It's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion onto my aunt. Um, okay. Okay. Um... Evidence that would cast suspicion onto her. Uh... Nah, I don't think that would do it. No? Uh, the two in between really are the costume and the cloth scrap. Because it would be someone who had access to the... the channeling clothes. So, is it the whole costume? Or is it the fact that there was a burned one sitting in the incinerator? I feel like that's slightly more suspicious. That not only was there a bloody costume, but someone tried to get rid of it? Let's... do that. Proof is this piece of cloth. I found it in the incinerator near the winding way. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. You mean it's from Maya's costume that she was wearing at the time of the murder? Yes. When Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes? But why? I don't know why. But there's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya, my aunt. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Oh, You have no proof that this piece of cloth is actually from Maya's costume. But this blood. And do you know whose blood that is at this point in time? You don't, do you? I have any proof that's from the costume? What? Uh... Do I have any proof? Do I have any proof this piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? Huh? What? Well, it's, okay, so it's not a person. Oh, 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 sorry. Take, Take that. that! Because there's only one key and it was in the sleeve and they found it in the incinerator. I think this is the proof you're looking for. The key to the channeling chamber, huh? At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key, and yet somehow it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. And this is what Maya told me. 
While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve, and both this key and the piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Ooh, we're running long. All right, that's fine. Which means that this... We'll, we'll at least finish this up. Which means that this piece of cloth was a part of Maya's costume. It certainly seemed that way. Someone changed her into a different set of clothes, and then burned the costume she was wearing in the incinerator. There's only one person who could have done that. One person who was taking care of Maya. My aunt. Exactly. I didn't expect this to be like a full-on boss fight. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you may cast... You can cast some suspicion on my aunt. However... Uh, however... Like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me, but I want to know, if my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? She did it, huh? Um... I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? She needed... I, I think it's gonna be Eni. Eni? Yeah. Do I present the driver's license or... Ah, that's gonna be so confusing in the in the trial. I mean, it's confusing now. Uh, is there anything else? Ooh, we lose uh, two health. We messed this one up. I think... I think it's Eni. Eni Meenie, she's the f answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Eenie Meenie were in cahoots. Come on, Phoenix. I figured that out, uh, what, last episode? Beginning of this one? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I've been thinking about this a lot. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. A person would have to know a lot about Faye Manor and the village itself to do this. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that Eenie Meenie is involved somehow. We have one big problem on our hands. A problem with what? We don't have a motive. Yeah, we do. We have tons of motives. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? She didn't care about that part of it. Also, we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Eenie. Eenie doesn't have a clue either, huh? Hmm, then there's only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Um, because? Mother, she is the one who holds the key to this. Mother, who's mine? <laughs> Don't be silly, mine of course. Misty Faye. Me and Maya's mother, why would she bring her up now? Now then, looks like we've gathered everything we could. All I have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. Right, right Chief, we won't lose. Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. So we get to... The next episode will be the start of the... Trial. I think these can go... What it, What was it from the last game? Three days? So there's still a possibility of more. But I, I feel like we have... Just about everything we need, so... We'll see. I realize I didn't save the entire time I did that investigation. That was probably bad. Oops. All right, we'll end it here. We'll start the trial in the next episode. I'm really excited. I'm, I think I have all the pieces. I just got to put it together and prove it and deal with Von Karma again. <laughs> That's going to do it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.